All right, this is going to be a quick video to set up some assets for our Maze C++ tutorial for Godot. We're going to fontlibrary.org and we're going to grab a free font. Uh, let's go to Creative Commons Zero and just grab the top one there. And let's download it. You can pick any font you want for this. We're just grabbing one. Open up uh, and unzip it. And then you're going to see that there are a ton of choices of different types. We're going to wind up just using one, but feel free to use any you'd like. And that's got all the different style options. So next we're going to open up GIMP and we're going to make a couple quick pictures. Uh, anyone should be able to follow along with this and make something comparable. It's not going to be very difficult. So we're going to set it up as 128 by 128 and a transparent background. You can keep the comment or get rid of it. And then we have a small little block. We are going to make our art right on there. So let's zoom in and let's make the window just a little bit bigger and zoom in a bit more and then we are going to draw let's use a paintbrush uh or that's a bit too big of a paintbrush there we're gonna mm, that's still too big that's about right but let's try a little bit smaller and yeah we'll use that size and then we're going to change the type of brush. And uh, we changed our size back. Let's put it back to 10. And let's change the color. We're going to go with a purple. That's not purple right now. Let's pick purple. And it doesn't really matter what color you're picking, just anything you feel like. I'm going to stick with that. And then we are going to draw an amazing, beautiful stick man. And I suspect most of you can do a better job than I just did. We're going to make the paintbrush a little smaller for the eyes, nose, and mouth. And there we go. Perfect character for our game. Now we're going to save it out and let's call it Stickman. And then we will export it. Uh, we'll check if there's any options, but I'm pretty sure... Yeah, just stick with the standard options. It should be fine. And now create another one, 128 by 128 again. And we're just going to make some colored blocks for our wall, for a background, for whatever, some different stuff. So here's a black one. Let's uh, use the paint bucket there, fill it in. And let's just save it as black 128 by 128 so that we know exactly what it is. And then let's export it. And then we're going to do this a couple more times with different colors. This is all that's going to be in the video, so feel free to skip it and do it on your own if you want or whatever. Uh, you can make much better graphics to whatever you'd like. So. Yeah, I'm going to pick a color here. Let's, let's just do a gray. Mm, that looks fine. Again, the exact colors don't matter. Anything you want is fine. And we're just going to call this light gray. And 125.28. And then we're going to export it and just use the default ones again 
And then let's make another one. We need uh, an exit square and a wall square. So let's make a exit square and we'll make it red. And we'll just call this one red. And the reason I'm doing all these as textures in our tutorial is so that you can use real graphics because obviously you're gonna do something better than just different colored blocks. So, all right, now we're going to make a yellow one for our walls because why not? And want a true yellow. Let's see, I think that's, hmm, we have that pink corner. I think that means, yeah, let's make sure that it's the actual thing we want. So, let's go back and yeah, the color code there we can see. There's a one nine tailing on at the end there. So I'm gonna just hard code it in as what I'm wanting. It's just a pure yellow, but you can use anything you want. And save this out, and there we go. We have all of our different colors. Export it, and we're ready to go. That's all we need, and we got our art assets and our font for the game.